We're on a raft in the middle of nowhere. And we have 20 minutes before the sea army attacks. So we have to build a secure water villa before the sea army reaches us. Oh my gosh, Louie. When the sun goes down, those sea monsters are going to attack. Oh no, this is terrible, Pip. What are we going to do? Maybe we should build some secure villas to stop the sea army. Wait, good idea. You know what? I'm going to get started right now. And mine is going to be super good. Oh, like your builds are ever good, Louie. Mine are way better. Um, excuse me, Pip? You're literally building out of dirt. I'm building out of oak planks, but not for long. Well, yeah, Louie, because dirt is the best block in the game, and wood is the worst block in the game. Well, I'm not going to keep building out of oak planks, and it seems like you're going to keep building out of dirt. This is terrible. That base is going to dissolve into the water and make a muddy puddle. No, it's not, Louie. I'm not building out of sand. Well, Pip, I don't know if sand would be even better. How about this? Instead of building out of dirt, try and use some cobblestone or something a little more secure. Ew, cobblestone? That's the worst thing ever, Louie. Why don't I just build out of bedrock? Wait, why don't you build out of bedrock, Pip. Oh, Louie, because this looks ugly. Why would we ever build out of this? Yeah, good point, Pip. Look, even dirt looks better than bedrock. Oh, yeah, let's just get rid of that. Oh, yeah, good idea, buddy. All right, Pip, but while you do that, I'm going to use some world edit commands in order to make a large raft to survive those sea creatures. What I'm going to do is set this into sandstone, because a real villa is always built on sand. Oh, I thought villas were built on dirt. Oh, no, they're not, Pip. Villas are always built in areas where you would take a vacation. And that would most likely be near the beach. Yeah, Louis. Let me go ahead and put some sand all over. All right, Pip, but uh-oh. It seems like all that sand is falling into the water. Look at mine over here. It's not falling at all. How did you build out of sand, Louie? When I put sand down, it just falls. Well, Pip, that's the thing. This isn't sand. This is sandstone. Just take a look at that, and that is just sand that doesn't fall. Whoa. So is it sand or or is it stone? It's both, Pip, and that's what makes it really secure. It's just like building with sand, and it looks the same, but it's really, really strong. And those sea creatures won't be able to break through it. Oh, great idea, Louie. Forget dirt. I'll just build out of your blocks. All right, well, you go ahead and do that, Pip, whilst I get started on my villa. As you guys can see, I finished the island that I'm going to build on, but now I'm going to build build a shape for the actual villa. It's going to look really cool. I just need to make sure I leave five blocks in between because these wooden pillars are going to be the support beams and I'm going to build the walls with white concrete, but not yet. I need to build the shape of my house first. So I'm going to build these four pillars and this will be the first room just like this. I'll put walls in the places where they will be when I finish the build. So there we go. This will be the first wall and pillars of my base. Now, I need to make this look like a really cool villa, so I'm going to go a few more blocks off the side of this, just like this. This is where my main room will be. There has to be a really big room on the bottom here, just so this looks like a really cool villa vacation house. And there we go. I'm going to build up this really big back room over here, and I'm going to connect it to the rest of the house. I think I'll build it like this, so I have these support beams and these white concrete walls that I'll be building up just like this. Doesn't that look amazing, guys? I just need to actually start building up the walls now. Ew, Louie, you're building out of white blocks? Why don't you build out of red blocks? 
Well, Pip, that's because this house has to be modern. We are building modern villa houses, did you know? Oh, yeah, Louie. And don't modern villas have walls made out of yellow? Well, they could, Pip, but that's how villas used to look in the olden days. They used to have a lot of yellow and wacky colors on them. Oh, the olden days? Like when your mom was born? Uh, well, yeah, kind of, Pip. Oh, I knew your mom was old, Louie. Like a grandma! What? My mom isn't that old, Pip. My mom is, uh... Well, I don't actually know how old my mom is. Guys, uh, how old is my mom again? Do you know? <laughs> you don't even know, Louie. That's how old she is. Oh, she's not that old, Pip. I bet everybody in the comments could guess how old she is. Or maybe however many likes this video gets is how old my mom is. Oh, so she is a thousand years old? What, Pip? No, she's not a thousand years old. Unless the video gets that many likes. Well, Louie, you do have a lot of fans. So I think you're going to get 1,000 likes. Well, we'll see about that, buddy. But anyways, I need to start working on some details to this villa. Like, what do I want it to look like? I think I definitely want it to have a second floor. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of these spruce planks to the roof. This will make it so that you know there's a second floor. And I'll be able to build one up here. Let's just go ahead and fill it all in with these really cool wooden blocks. And then I can start working on more details. I don't know what I want to do right now, but I'll work it out. All right, here we go. I've added the second floor blocks into place. But now I think I definitely want a balcony on this thing. So let's go ahead and build that. All I'm going to do is go around the top top side of this base with these wooden stairs. And I think I'll make it a little bit longer like this. This is just so there's a lot of space to stand on on the balcony. All right, here we go. Let's connect it all up together just like this. And now let's go around this entire house with all of these spruce oak stairs. This should be pretty good. Here we go. And we have connected them all up. Now we have this little sticking off section right here. And this is where the balcony will go. Let me just fill this in with these spruce oak planks like this. And now we have a floor. This is where we will be able to stand on the balcony. But it does look a little strange just floating there. So let's add some support beams to it. What I'm going to do is use these barrels. And I'll place them on the top and the bottom. Just like this. This kind of makes it look like it's in the ground and connected to the balcony. Now what I'm going to do is go into my creative inventory and grab some stone brick walls, which we will then use to connect these up like this. So now the balcony looks like it's being held up off the ground. Finally, to make it look like it's holding this entire balcony up, I'm going to use these fence gates in order to make it look really cool. It kind of looks like the barrels are connecting together and are holding this entire balcony up all at once. There we go. Perfect. And we've also got a ton of space around this villa to add anything else we might need. But first, before I do that, I'm going to add some holes where some windows will go. So, I'll do one door right here. This is where you will enter into the villa. And now, let's add some spaces for some windows. I'll add some right there. I think I'll add two on either side of this wall. I'll add another two right here, but I'm going to make them further away from each other. And then here, I'll do the same thing. I'll add some windows like that. That. And then in this next room, I'll add some more. And perfect. All of these windows fully spaced apart. I'll just do the same thing on all of these sides like this. And now we have a bunch of windows. And on the inside, I'm just going to go ahead and make this big walkway that you can walk straight through. There we go. This outside is looking really cool on this villa house so far. But I don't know. I've got this first floor done. And I think I need to add a second floor. Floor. So I'm going to go ahead and add that right now. Let's get started. So what I'm going to do is add a ton of these oak logs just like this. And I'll do the same thing I did on the bottom floor where I build them all up like this. But for this area of the build, this is where it's going to look different. I'm going to add a really, really cool looking roof. So what I'm going to do
do is use some dark oak stairs. Let's grab some of those like this. And I'm going to build the outline of the roof with a bunch of dark oak stairs like this. It's going to be really awesome looking, guys. Just you wait and see. Just follow along if you want to build the exact same thing as me. All right, here we go. And all I have to do is connect the roof up like that. This is looking really awesome. But now all I have to do is just connect all of these oak stairs together and make them go around the outside of the roof like this. Then when I get to this area, I just need to go ahead and make the roof connect up nicely like this. And I can't forget to make the roof the exact same height as it is over there. So I'm going to have to make it look like that. I'll just connect up these planks like this. Then I'll get some dark oak slabs and connect them up like that. This villa is going to be really amazing. And I'm pretty sure that Pip is going to be flabbergasted when he sees it. That basically means he's going to be so shocked he'll poop himself. Wait, what did you say about me pooping myself? I'm looking at your face right now and it's garbage. What do you mean, Pip? Have you seen yours? It's all yellow and it's got wood in it, but I don't know. It looks really strange. Did you build the roof out of sand? Of course, Louie. But wait a second, Pip. If you've built this entire base with sand as the roof, surely the roof will just blow away. And if it rains, your roof is going to get very heavy and cave in. No, it won't, Louie. I used glue, but uh, I ran out of glue, so I just used poop instead. Ew! Oh, Oh my gosh, guys, Pip is so weird. Don't tell me you actually stuck your house together with poop. Yep, yeah, Louie, and it looks like it came along just nicely. All right, Pip, but the thing is, we don't only have to build these really cool villas, we also have to add some defenses to keep those sea monsters away. Oh my gosh, I love putting traps. My traps are going to be so deadly. All of those sea monsters are going to die. Yeah, we'll see about that, Pip. I don't know if your traps are any good. Every single time I see you build a trap in your base, it's always trash and does nothing. Oh, Louie, no need to get jealous already. Um, buddy, I'm not jealous at all because I know my base is going to be 20 times better than yours and everybody in the comments says so. No, Louie, I look at the comments. All of the comments say Pip's builds are amazing and Louie's builds well, they're not. What? No, Pip, you just made that up. You said that just to make me think that my viewers hate me, but they all think my base is amazing. Just look at it. Oh, yeah, Louie. All of those hate comments might have been me. What? Oh, guys, Pip is always doing things like this. He's always making accounts on his computer so that he can make me look bad in my videos. Yep, and it's working, Louie. Oh, you have so many haters. Oh, no, I don't, Pip, because they're all your accounts. That's why. Oh, it doesn't matter, Louie. Hate comments or hate comments. Oh, Pip, you're always doing this to me. You're so mean sometimes. I don't know how you sleep at night. I'm not mean, Louie. I'm just being really supportive. Um, supportive? I don't know if that's supportive, Pip. Yes, it is, Louie, because if you get a bunch of hate comments, it motivates you to make better videos. Wait, that is a good point, but I don't like hate comments, so everybody make sure you don't hate on my videos. All right, but anyways, as you guys can see, I've been building up the walls of this base for quite a long time. If you can just take a look on the outside, though, it's coming along very well. This thing is starting to look like a real vacation house. Or should I say villa? And I'm so glad that it's looking better than Pip's build. After all, that is what I'm striving for. I need to make sure this can survive the sea monster
Mr. Apocalypse better than Pips. All right, here we go. Let's just keep finishing off these walls, and then I can add some details to this top floor. I'll start building up the walls from the inside now, because I have a bunch of these dark oak stairs hanging over the front of my base, which means I have to go inside, or else there'll be holes in the walls. All right, there we go. This looks really cool. Now it's time to add a door on the top and a window. This will look the opposite on the top and the bottom, just to make this base look really, really cool. And now I'm going to put windows in the same place. So I'll do one right here at the roof, then I'll do the same thing on the side, and then finally I'll just add the same type of windows in all the different spots. Just like this. And there we go, guys. I've added all of the window spaces into my build. We have a top floor, a really cool roof to keep the rain away, and everything else is coming together nicely. All I have to do is now add those final details I was talking about. And what better to add than some really awesome looking leaves. And since I like red a lot, I'm going to add some of these red leaves around this base. So I'll put some red ones just like this. And I'll also get some spruce trap doors to be able to make some plant pots. So let's get some of those and... And let's build up some plants. So I'll put some grass just under the windows like this. I'll add some leaves coming out of this side. And then I'll add these spruce trap doors covering the dirt like this. This means I'll be able to grow as many flowers as I want. So I'll get some of these awesome looking rose bushes. And I'll put them going around this entire base. This looks really cool from the outside. Oh, Louie, look. My balcony is complete. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about, buddy? Your balcony? Ew! What is this? Uh, this is my super pro lookout balcony where I can shoot those sea monsters. I don't know about you, Pip, but this looks really, really bad. Uh, where are you supposed to climb up to your balcony from? And ew! You have a chimney that takes you to your balcony? Of course, Louie. Sometimes I like to pretend that I'm Santa. Well, well, seeing how much you like to sneak around and put weird things in my base, I guess you would be Santa. Oh, Louie, don't be mean to me, or I'm going to put coal in your stocking. Oh, Pip, it's not even close to Christmas yet. I don't want any coal, and you know what? If you do give me coal, I'll just put it in my furnace to cook a bunch of food. Well... That's better than presents. Yep, I love to eat food, and that would definitely help me out. But anyways, Pip, you keep distracting me with your weird and wacky <laughs> builds. I need to keep finishing mine. What else could you possibly add to your base, Louie? It looks absolutely ridiculous. What? How does it look ridiculous, buddy? Have you seen this thing? Uh, yeah, Louie, and I wish I could unsee it. Oh. Guys, if you think Pip is being dumb and definitely needs to start appreciating my base, then make sure to comment down below because this base, in my opinion, is looking really good. Well, Louie, you can't call me mean because I'm not mean. I'm only mean to you. Oh, yeah, you are only mean to me because you're a mean little duck. <laughs> But it doesn't matter, Pip. I'm adding a bunch of these rose bushes around my base. And this is starting to really come together. I love the detail I'm adding. But now what I want to do is add some grass. Because after all, what is a villa without a really cool patch of grass out front? So I'm going to go over here. And I am going to set the ground to grass blocks like this. So now I have a really awesome front lawn. What do you think about this, Pip? I bet you're getting kind of jealous now, right? Well, I'm not getting jealous, Louie, because I bet your villa doesn't have a hot tub. What? A hot tub? Um, Pip, that is not a hot tub. That is a death pit. You made it out of lava? Well, of course, Louie. Isn't that what all hot tubs are made out of? Um, no, Pip. You do not make a hot tub out of lava or else you'll kill somebody and then they'll sue you. Oh, Louie. You can't die in a hot tub. Just watch. Um, wait, Pip, wait, Pip, Pip. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh. Get in the water. Oh my goodness, Louie. I almost died in the hot tub. Yeah, 
Pip, a hot tub just means hot water, not lava. Oh, then how else am I supposed to make a hot tub if I'm not using lava? Well, Pip, let me help you out here. Let's just get rid of all of this lava first. I'm going to put cobblestone in here just to drain it. And there we go. Now, to actually make a real hot tub, Pip, what you have to do is just grab some water, put it inside like this, and then you have to grab some magma blocks and put them at the bottom. This heats up the water so that it gets all bubbly like this. Oh, wait, this is nice and all, but why am I still dying? What, Pip? Oh, Louie, you tricked me. You made my hot tub even more of a death trap. What? No, I didn't. Pip, if you didn't know already, you can't die on magma blocks in Minecraft if you're careful and sneaking. So when you're using the hot tub, you have to sneak like this and be very careful not to die. Oh, I don't want to be careful in a hot tub. I want to do cannonballs in a hot tub. Well, you could still do that, Pip. Just cannonball in and then sneak. And look, look how relaxing this hot tub is. It's super bubbly. No, Louie, I think I'd rather do hot tubs in my ocean pool. What's ocean pool? Oh my gosh, Pip, this is insane. Yeah, Louie, who needs to make a pool when we're in the middle of the ocean? Well, Pip, there is one fatal flaw of your little pool here. Oh, there's nothing wrong with my pool, Louie. What are you talking about? Oh, well, Pip, what if you go for a swim in your pool and then you get eaten by a shark? That would be terrible. Oh, sharks aren't that bad, Louie. Well, maybe sharks aren't that bad, but we are going to get attacked by a sea army. So they might just eat you alive while you're swimming in your pool. So you better get that covered up, buddy. But I need to keep building my base. Oh, yeah. I probably shouldn't use the pool when the sea monsters are here. Yeah, uh, definitely, Pip. But that's your problem to work out. I have my own. Like, what am I going to put next to my base over here? There's so much space. Well, Louie, if it was up to me, I'd probably put a huge farm right here. What a farm? But, Pip, this is a villa. It's another vacation house. Why would we put a farm there? Um, so we can have fresh organic foods at our vacation home. All right. Well, I guess we can do that. Look, I'm going to cover this outside with fences, and this will be the area we use for the farm. But I'm going to split it off over here, because in this area, we are going to put a huge palm tree. A palm tree? Oh, that's going to make it look like Hawaii. Yep. So how about... How about you help me out with this farm, Pip? We should get some hose like this. And then let's go ahead and hoe all of this dirt. All right, Louie. What seeds should we plant in our farm? Well, most of the time, we want to be using wheat seeds. They are some of the best types of seeds to use. Oh, Louie. Instead of wheat seeds, can we just plant worms? What? No! Pip, stop putting <laughs> worms in the farm. Well, you put some worms in the farm as well. Well, that's just because I hoed all the dirt, but ew! Look, it's going into my house! <laughs> Get out of here! I hope you enjoy worms, Louie. <laughs> Oh, well, I don't enjoy worms in my base pit, but whatever, it doesn't matter. They're all here now, and I'm going to make sure they don't get inside. So let me just drop that guy into the ocean and cover him up. Fine, Louis, then I'll just put a bunch of melon seeds, because that's what your head looks like. <laughs> What? My head does not look like a melon, but whatever, Pip. Let's go ahead and put a ton of these melon seeds in and grow our own homemade melons. Oh, yeah. I really love melons. Do you like melons, Louie? Yep, I love them, Pip. They taste really, really good and sweet. Oh, yeah. Watermelon is my favorite prime flavor. Wait, Pip, you like the watermelon flavor of prime? 
Ew! I actually love the strawberry flavor because it's red on the outside. Oh, Louie, you probably just like strawberries because they're pink. Um, uh, no, Pip. I don't like them just because they're pink. I like them because they're really tasty and red on the outside. But anyways, Pip, we cannot be getting distracted. I want to add a nice little palm tree outside of this villa to make it look really epic. All right, Louie. Let me do that for you right now. Wait, what? What are you doing? No, Pip! Not a jungle tree. I said a palm tree. Oh, no. Doesn't that look amazing, Louie? No, Pip, that just looks like I'm living in a really weird jungle. I want to make a custom palm tree. So let me get rid of these jungle logs. Oh, well, if you aren't going to have a jungle tree, then I will. All right, well, you go ahead and do that, Pip. I'm going to get rid of that jungle tree, and I'll watch all of these leaves disintegrate. All right, there we go. Now, Pip, it's time for me to add this actual palm tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it up four blocks high like this. And as you guys know, palm trees kind of curve up into the sky. So I'm going to do a bit of a curvy looking palm tree. Oh, Louie, I think this tree is way too hot for some reason. It's just really kind of on fire. Wait, what do you mean on fire, buddy? And wait, what? Pip, why is my palm tree flaming everywhere? And why do you have a flint and steel in your hand? I don't have a flint and steal, Louie. What makes you think that? Um, Pip, I just saw you throw it into the ocean. Where did it go? Oh, well, if you can't find it, then I probably didn't have it. Um, Pip, it's right here. And it's floating up to the surface. Uh, Tad, what is that, Louie? Oh, that looks really weird. I don't know what that is, Louie. Oh, Pip, stop trying to sabotage my base. I know it's you who's trying to ruin my palm tree. How could it be me, Louie? I think you're just paranoid, Louie. You should just focus on your face. Oh, all right, Pip. Well, I'm going to focus on my palm tree, but there better be no more funny business from you. I don't want to see this base be burned to a crisp. I'm not doing any funny business for now. <laughs> oh, Pip. Oh, whatever. Well, guys, look at this. I've added the first leaf to my palm tree, but now I'm going to add more. All I have to do is use world edit commands to copy this and go down into my palm tree. Now I just need to copy this, rotate it by 90, and then paste it in. And as you can see, we have another palm tree leaf right here. I'll just do it the same on the other side like this, and then I'll do it again. And now as you can see, guys, we have four leaves on my palm tree. This looks super tropical. Oh, my palm tree is going to be better. It's going to be a tree house. Oh, Pip, what do you mean it's going to be a tree house? Let me see this thing. And wait, what is this? Oh, I just told you, Louie. It's my tree house. Well, it does look okay, I guess. But Pip, why are you building a tree house? We have to be building our villas. Yeah, Louie. Don't all villas come with a tree house? No, they don't, Pip. I have never seen a villa in my life that comes with a tree house like this one. Oh, well, now you have. Oh, well, okay, Pip. You keep working on that tree house and make sure you add traps to it because those sea monsters are going to be very evil. But while you do that, I'm going to go ahead and finalize the build of my house. I need to add some red stained glass panes like this and also some spruce doors because this has to look like a vacation house. Here we go. I'll add these red windows into each of these holes on the wall just like this. This looks pretty good, don't you think, guys? But now that I'm finished with the upstairs, I'll just do the downstairs windows. Let's just do that again like this. And I have to admit, stained glass panes are really difficult to place down because they're so small like this. But don't worry, guys. I'm going to get it done just like that. 
There we go. We now have a really awesome looking villa with a bunch of really cool red windows. But now I need to add the doors in. So let me just do that. I'll put one door on the inside here. And whoa, it looks super cool, guys. It even has a little window. And now I'll do the same thing on the top floor. Boom. This vacation house looks epic. I love how this villa's coming along. Well, Louie, you were talking about adding traps, but I don't see any traps on your face at all. Wait, what? Oh, well, I guess you are right. I have been focusing a lot on building. Oh, yeah, Louie. You should look at my face. There's traps everywhere. Whoa, I didn't even realize. You've added some dispenser traps to the top and some spike traps up here. That is really good, Pip. Yeah, Louie. Those sea monsters are going to think this jungle tree house is my actual house. But actually, it's just filled with traps. Well, you know what, Pip? I have a good idea. I need to make sure that my base is protected as well. And I have a good idea on what I'm going to do. I'll just go ahead and get some secure-looking iron blocks like this. And I'm going to make this base into the most secure villa you've ever seen. Oh, you wish it was more secure than mine. Oh, yeah? Well, Pip, I saw that you built a a bunch of spike traps, but have you used any lasers? I'm about to, Louie. Well, how about this? I'm going to use the lasers first, and you won't be able to copy me. Oh, you're always copying me, Louie. No, I'm not. But look at this, guys. What I'm going to do is put some of these lasers just up this wall like this. And then I'm going to get these things called redstone links. And I'm going to connect them up to these walls next to the lasers. All right. And now I've done that, I'm going to put some upgrades inside of these lasers just like this. I'm going to make the laser more powerful by setting it to power mode. And then I'm going to add a damage upgrade. So so nothing will be able to get through the laser unless it really tries. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to test out the lasers to make sure they work. I'll just get a lever, put it next to this, and now let's turn it on. Boom! Whoa! This is looking super secure. And the best thing is, I can turn it on and off whenever I want. Wow, Louie, your face looks like it's out of Star Wars! Yep, Pip, that is the plan. I'm going to make this base so secure that nobody, not even you, will be allowed to get in. Oh, Louie, I can easily get in. I can just swim under, break a block, and boom! I'm in. Wait, that's actually a good point. Well, you know what, Pip? I'm going to make it so you can't do that. Let me just show you how. I'm going to get a grass block and place it on the water like this. Then I'm going to get the first position with world edit. Now, all I have to do is fly over to this side, go all the way deep into the ocean, and select this block. Now, all I have to do is type the command slash slash walls and set it to obsidian. Now, there is a no way you can dig underneath. <laughs> what? Oh, this is so secure now, Louie. How am I supposed to get in now? I don't know, Pip, but all I know is you can't get under and you can't get through the front. How are you going to get inside now, Pip? There is nothing you can do. I don't know, Louie. This space is so OP. And with the lasers, you can actually see under the water. Yep, so those sharks won't stand a chance. I have laser x-ray vision. Oh my gosh, Louie, how did you come up with this? Well, I just have a little bit of redstone knowledge. After all, I went to redstone school. Oh, redstone school isn't as cool as farming school. Oh, really? Well, what did they teach you to do in farming school? Make potatoes? Oh, yeah, of course 
personally, we and how to make tree houses. Yeah, but Pip, how is that going to help you against these evil mobs? I would say learning redstone is a lot stronger because I can make contraptions just like this one to protect me. Oh, Louie, you know you can beat mobs without redstone. Um, I don't know about that, Pip. You might be able to use, like, a wooden sword, but that doesn't mean you'll be safe. Oh, I'm not using a wooden sword, Louie. Wooden swords are trash. I'm using a stone sword. What? A stone sword? Oh, no. I hope you're ready to die then, Pip, because those mobs under the water are going to be a lot stronger than a stone sword can handle. Oh, Louie, that's where I'll make up for it with my traps. Mm -hmm. Okay, buddy, you keep saying that. But anyways, I need to add more traps. Because look at this. It seems like the mobs won't be able to get underneath or through my laser trap. But they might be able to jump over. And I need to make sure that I keep them away from the sides of my base. So what I'm going to do is surround it just like this with these iron blocks. This will secure it just a little bit more and make it just a tiny bit stronger. All right, and here we go. I've almost finished just like that. Now I have this really cool iron block frame going around the entire of my secure villa. And what I'm going to do now, guys, is insane. I'm going to add some epic TNT traps that stop anything that piles up next to my entrance. So to do that, all you need is some dispensers and some redstone. Make sure to also get some repeaters, too. You will need those. All right. So now you've got those, all you have to do is put some redstone repeaters Peters just next to your base like this. Just so that they're far enough away from blocks that are on the land. This is just so TNT doesn't land next to your base. All right. And now what we're going to do is fill up these dispensers with TNT just like this. And put them going all the way around the outside of the base. And this should do quite nicely. I'll put another TNT blaster right here. And also a few more right next to this area here. Now that looks pretty good. All I have to do now is just connect them all up. So I'm going to have some redstone repeaters right here. And I'm going to connect them up to a lever. As you can see, they turn on just like that. And what I have to do now is connect them all up to a nice redstone signal. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. And just to make sure these dispensers do not go ahead and put blocks to the side of them and mess up my base, I'm going to make it so the TNT cannot move when it falls down, just so that it can't fall onto a block by accident and mess up my entire build. Now, finally, all I have to do is put a line of obsidian just going underneath the base like this. And then finally, I need to set this up on the other side. So I'll add these little guidelines here and the trap is complete. If I now set off the TNT, as you can see, it goes into the water and boom! Everything in front will die. Whoa, Louie, that was crazy. How did you do that? Well, how do you think, buddy? I used redstone. Oh, you're always using this redstone stuff, but I'm using cobwebs and fans. Well, the thing is, Pip, cobwebs and fans don't use redstone and are still very good traps, so... I guess that is pretty good, but you won't be able to control them. If you want to turn these fans off to get inside your base, you won't be able to. Well, Louie, that's why I have a chest full of sticky boots. So you can just walk right in. But wait, Pip, it's going to take you ages to get in there with the sticky boots. How about I help you a little bit with this trap? Well, how could you possibly help me, Louie? It's already a genius trap. Well, let me show you. All we need to do is grab some of these redstone fans. I'm going to make this so you can turn it on and off. Look at this. Let's just get rid of these and replace them with redstone fans like this. Now, on the back, you can get these redstone links and you can set them all up with these redstone fans. Wait, Louie, does this actually turn on the redstone fans? Yep. Since it has a redstone fan on the inside, this will be used to control the actual fans itself. As you can see right now, they're not moving. Oh, there's no way this works, Louie. I don't believe you. 
Let me show you then, Pip. If I go ahead and make a pathway so you can get through here faster, and then just go ahead and put a redstone link on the inside here, with a fan on the inside and a lever next to it, look what happens when you flick this lever, buddy. Well, nothing's going to happen, Louis. Let me just flick this lever and... Wait, wait, no! Yep, I told you it works, Pip. Look, you can now turn on your fans whenever you want. And when you're ready, you can turn them off and get through. Oh, this is a really good idea, Louie. How come I didn't think of this? Because you're just a little duck, Pip, and your brain isn't as big as mine. Well, my brain is way bigger than yours, Louie. There's a reason I always win these build challenges. What? No, you don't. You always lose these build challenges. I mean, look at my base and tell me this won't survive. Oh, Louie, your little treehouse over there isn't as good as mine. Uh, well, I don't know, guys. Maybe you should take a look. Whose treehouse do you think is better? I don't have one right now, guys, but just pretend I do. Look, Pip's tree is right there, and my tree is right here. Whose is better? I think mine, personally, because I have a realistic-looking palm tree. Oh, palm trees don't look like that in real life, Louie. They look like my tree. No, they don't! Oh, Pip, it seems like we can't say whose tree is the best. But it's fine. The viewers will tell us. Oh, yeah. But anyways, if you guys think my base is better than Pip's, then make sure to subscribe because you can be part of the Louie Legends. And also, you'll never, ever miss an upload, which means you'll always be able to see awesome builds just like mine whenever my videos are uploaded. Oh, Louie, there's no way they'd watch you every single day. Oh, yes, they would, buddy. Oh, yes, they would. Uh-huh. And why is there a fire charge going straight to your palm Wait, tree? What? What's happening? Uh, Pip, what are you doing? Uh, nothing, Louie. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm, where could that fire charge have come from? Oh, I don't see anything right now. I just see a beautiful base. Yeah, a beautiful base that won't be there for very long. Wait, what? F fire! Fire! Pip, stop! What are you doing? Oh, call the fire department, Louie. Put that fire out! Oh, I'm putting it out, buddy. But you cannot be firing fire charges at my base. How about this? Instead, you can fire them at the ocean creatures. I'll just help you out a little bit, buddy. I'm going to put a fan up here, and I'll have it facing downwards just like that. Now try and shoot the fire charges. Oh, there's no way this works, Louie. And hey, it's actually working. Yep, it shoots down at the ground and doesn't set my base on fire whilst also killing the sharks. Oh, why can't I set your base on fire and kill the sea monsters at the same time? Because I don't want you to, Pip. Just take a look at that, though. Your fire charges actually work now. You have a super crazy machine gun that shoots fire charges into the water. Oh, yeah, Louie. Maybe your little redstone genius knowledge is helpful. Yep, and you can have another emerald fan right here to make one that shoots a little further down and one that doesn't shoot as much. Look, one of them will go really far into the water and one of them won't. Perfect! Oh, Louie, there's no way those sea monsters are getting through my base. Well, that's only because I helped you, though, Pip. I have to keep working on my own base right now. And wait, I just realized I haven't put anything on the inside. Oh, well, neither have I, Louie. But you know what, Louie? Since you kind of helped me with my base a little bit, I think I'll help with yours. Wait, seriously? Awesome! You're going to actually help me on the inside? Oh, yeah, Louie, because I know you need my help, right? Yeah, I kind of do, Pip. We don't have much time until those mobs get here. I don't know where the sun is in the sky, but I'm pretty sure it's going down. Oh, no, it's not, Louie. We have plenty of time, I think. 
think. Yeah, that's the thing. We think we have a lot of time, which probably means we don't. Come on, Pip, get in here. We need to build something in this first room right here. I'm thinking somewhere to put your hats or all of your storage. Oh, I'm thinking a massive shower. What? No! Ew! Pip, we are going to put the bathroom on the top floor. Just wait a second. Oh, well, Louie, you know your idea does sound pretty good. How about we add some storage in here? All right, buddy. Let's go ahead and make this look like a really awesome house. First of all, if we need storage, we need a lot of cabinets to keep things in. So I'll get some of these oak cabinets here, and we can put them on the ground, just like this. Look at this, Pip. These look awesome, right? Oh, yeah, Louie. Let's just fill it up with some awesome blocks. All right. I think I have an idea on what we can... It, wait, what are you doing, Pip? Why did you just throw rotten flesh on the floor? Oh, don't all people keep rotten flesh in their cabinet? No, Pip, no, they do not. Oh, Louie, sorry about that. I thought that's just what humans did. No, Pip, humans do not do that. But come on, Pip, you have to keep building. Look, we have this oak cabinet here, but I'm going to add some of these smooth stone slabs just like this in order to make it look like there's some small tables on either side. Oh, yeah. What can we do with these tables? Can we eat seeds on them? Well, I guess we could if you want to. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put a red seat on this side and a yellow seat on this side. Then I'll put an item frame on both of these areas here. And here we can put our favorite foods. So I'm going to definitely eat some steak here. This tastes it's really good. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to get some seeds because seeds are my favorite food. Woohoo! Good idea, Pip. This looks really cool. But now, buddy, it's time to add some really cool decorations to this room. I'm going to grab some of these spruce fences and place them going up from these cabinets just like this. And I can connect them to the roof with these stone slabs. Boom. We can also do the same thing on the other side if we want to. I think this will be a really nice bit of decoration. Louis, what is even the point of this? This looks so weird. Well, Pip. If this is just to connect it to the roof. Look, I'm going to get some of these birch slabs. And watch this. I can add some really cool detail to the top of the room to make it look more round. I'll add some of these lily pad slabs and some regular slabs. And now it has this really cool archway design going around the corners. Oh, you said you wanted me to add a lily pad? No! Oh, Pib. Lily pads are all wet and slimy. And now your seeds are going to be all covered in slime. Even better! Ew! Oh, guys, Pip likes to eat slime. But what is your favorite food? Comment down below. Oh, but it doesn't matter, Pip. Come on. I'm just going to add some of these lily pad slabs to the top of the roof. And now it's got a really cool looking design. But now I think that room is complete. What do you think? Do you think there's anything more we could add? Oh, yeah, Louie. I do think it looks pretty good. But I feel like you could add some more piles of dirt. Ew! No, that's not dirt. That's poop. Oh, <laughs> no. Well, let me pick that up and get rid of it. But you saying that we could add more gives me an idea. Look at this, buddy. We could get some of these flower pots and also one of these ones. And we could add these to the corners to add a little bit more homeliness to this place. And then we could add some of these flower pots to the side and put our favorite color flowers in them. My favorite flower is a poppy because they're red. And I'll put it in just like that. Oh, well, Louie, your rose looks kind of bad. What? You should look at my daisy. Well, I have to admit to you, Pip, that does look pretty good. It looks just like a little mini sunflower, while mine is looking a lot smaller and sadder. Yeah, why don't we just change that to a daisy as well? What? 
No, Pip. I want a puppy. Let me just replace it. Ew. All right, that looks better. Now we have a red and a yellow interior to our house. But look at all this space we have in here. What could we possibly put? You know what? Oh, I have an idea. I'm going to add a little divider to this base just so that we know that we can put different things on either side of this archway. Let me just use some of these lily slabs and boom. Now this is looking really awesome. Well, Louis, there's so many things I love to add to a living room. And the first thing is a huge TV. What, Pip? This is an old VHS TV. It doesn't even run on CDs or Wi-Fi. VHS. What is all that stuff? Oh, Pip. Well, I guess you don't know what that is since you're just a little duck. Well, Pip, VHS used to be a big tape you would put in your TVs. But nowadays, we just use Netflix. Look, let me show you. Let's get rid of this and add a big flat screen TV. And on this one, you get all your favorite channels, buddy. Like the farming channel. Oh, there's no way this TV has the farming channel. Channel, but this TV is huge and it even comes with some books and flowers. Yep, and look, it comes with a red rose, just like my favorite. Oh, can we make this come in yellow? And <gasps> the farming channel! Oh, awesome! Oh, but it's already gone, Pip. Anyways, we can't afford to dilly-dally and watch TV. We have to build this living room and make it look really cool. So what would you add to a living room? Well, Louie, we definitely need a couch because no one watches TV standing up. Hmm, that is a good point. We could grab some of these awesome sofas. I'm going to get a red one and I'll put it just in front of the TV like this. I'll make it curve around too. Then I'll grab a yellow one and do the same. So we now both have a sofa to sit on. Oh yeah, and we should definitely add some Nintendo Switches so we can play Super Duck Bros. Yeah. Yep, good idea, buddy. And what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to put one of these lily slabs in the middle. And this looks like a little tiny table. So we can put down some popcorn to eat. Oh, yeah. Let me just get some popcorn right now. And boom! Whoa! Pip, this is insane. When we work together, we make really cool bases. Oh, Louie, are you ready to have a movie night after we kill those sea monsters? Oh, yes, I am, buddy. This is going to be awesome. But anyways, Pip, for the living room now, I'm going to add some things that I like inside on my side. So I'll put some stripped oak logs going like this. And then I'll put some of these lily slabs in place. And then finally, I'll add some bookshelves going up the wall. This looks really cool. What do you think? Oh, yeah, Louie. I mean, it looks good, but oh, why do you have to put books? Books are boring! What? Uh, well, then, you put something you like on your side, then, and I'll tell you if it's boring or not. Alright, Louie, I'll show you something that I love. Well, Louie, I love dirt and worms! Wait, what? No! Oh, no! You're putting dirt all over this base! But uh, I guess that is your side after all. Let me just get yeah. rid of it in front of the windows, and this can be your side of the base. And it even came with some friends! Oh, my gosh. Put the worm down, Pip. They're everywhere! Oh, get rid of these guys. I'll let you have one worm pet, okay? But we cannot have an infestation. Look, let's get a lead and let's get a fence. And now let's put it in the corner and let's connect this worm to the fence. Just like that. There you go, Pip. You now have a little worm friend. Oh, yeah. I love Willy the worm. All right. Put him down, Pip. Put him down. I'll put him oh. just over here. Oh, he looks so comfortable. Yep. Especially in all that dirt. But look, Pip. I think we're done with the living room now. It's packed so tight, you can't even go anywhere. Oh, yeah, but if it's packed 
tight, that means it's more comfy. Yep, and you know what? I'm going to make it just a little bit more comfortable by adding a little white modern carpet in front. Wait, Louis, I have a better idea. Instead of white carpet, how about we put red on your side and yellow on my side? Whoa! Awesome! Yeah, and now the colors look like McDonald's. Yep, we have a McDonald's villa now. But anyways, Pip, we filled up this huge room with a bunch of things for a living room. But mm, I don't know, Pip. Something seems wrong. What if we want to eat? We're on vacation after all. I mean, we do have this ketchup bottle right here. Oh, Pip, we can't just eat ketchup. We need a kitchen. Oh, you're right, Louie. Come on, let me make the kitchen. All right, buddy. While you're doing that, I'm going to add this little divider right here. This is where we will be able to see the kitchen from. It's like a little window. Yeah, Louie, this is super cool. So from the kitchen, you can can watch the movie as well. Oh, yeah, that's going to be awesome. You know what? I'm going to add some of these cool stools just so we can sit down, eat our food, and watch TV. Oh, I hope we can watch football. Yeah, Pip, me too. Football is a really, really fun little sport, but I don't watch it very much. But look, we have these stools down now, but we need a kitchen. So where do we start? You're the kitchen expert. Yeah, Louie, I eat food all the time time, so I know exactly what goes in a kitchen. All right then, buddy. Go ahead and show me. You do that while I put down some kitchen tiles on the floor. So the first thing we have to do is put down some kitchen counters all around the kitchen. All right, but what are we going to put on them? Well, first of all, one of these counters has to be a sink because we need to wash our food and our hands. All right, well, put the sink right in the middle. I think it would be better right here. Oh, yeah, Louie. And then right next to it, we can put the oven. Wait, and the we'll oven? Have nice! Two ovens. Whoa. We have a lot of these, but you know what? We can have one oven, but I think we should also have some furnaces, too. We need to make sure we can cook things like in Minecraft. Oh, yeah, Louie. That is a good idea. And maybe next to the oven, we can put the refrigerator. Wait, Pip! You just put the fridge in front of the door. Maybe you should put it, like, right here so we can still see out of the window. Oh, yeah. And on this side, I'm thinking of adding a microwave and a toaster. All right, go ahead, buddy. Put them down. Oh, and I feel like there's something missing from this kitchen. Oh, I can't put my finger on it. Uh, oh, I know what's missing, Louie. Let's just get rid of these counters and put a bath. What? Why would you put a bathtub inside of a kitchen? Get rid of that, Pip, and get up off the floor. No, Louie, I think I'll just stay here forever. No, 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 Pip, I'm not allowing that. Get up, buddy. Bye, Louie, let me just put this bath there and... No! Hey! Get rid of it! We will put the bath in the bathroom. That's where it's supposed to go. But for now, let's put some electrical outlets around just so that we can charge our phones and... And even plug in the oven. Oh, yeah, because we kind of need an outlet to actually plug in all of our appliances. Yep, and now we've got a ton of them. So we are going to be just fine, Pip. You know what? I'm going to move the microwave away from the window and put it right there. That looks better. Yeah, the microwave is how we cook our popcorn. Or pop our popcorn, I should say. Yep, there we go, buddy. This place is looking looking really cool, though. We have this awesome walk-in section. Then it goes straight to the kitchen. And then finally, the really, really awesome entertainment room in the living room. Yeah, and it's so entertaining because we have Nintendo Switches. Woohoo! But wait a second, buddy. I just realized we built everything down here, but we have no upstairs. Look! There's so much space up here. Yeah, Louie, you built an upstairs, but how... How are we supposed to get up there? Well, you know what? I have a good idea. Follow 
me, buddy. Well, fine. What's out here? Well, this is going to be the way we get upstairs. I think we should probably put it around the back over here. Let's connect it all up to the top of this villa. Let's get some white concrete like this. And then let's get some fences. And on the outside, let's connect it up like this. We can also remove some of these little stairs here because we are going to replace it with an actual staircase up. Oh, yeah. So we have to go outside to get up to the upstairs. Yep. It's a little bit weird, Pip, but you get used to it. This is what a lot of villas look like. Here we go. Let's put some stairs going all the way up here. And this will take us to the second floor. Here we go. Let's connect it up and get rid of some of these watermelons. And boom. Now we have a staircase that goes up. And it takes us to our second floor of our awesome villa. Oh, yeah, we But to get over here, we have to step on the watermelons. Oh, well, don't worry, buddy. I have an idea. I'll get some of this sandstone and I'll replace it with a pathway that takes us all the way to the staircase. That should be a little better. All right, Louie. Well, this actually looks pretty good, but let's finally work on this upstairs of your house. All right. Well, first of all, I think we definitely need our rooms. So how about we split this upstairs section into an area where we have our bedrooms? This one can be mine, and this room could be yours. All right. So how about this? I'll be building my room here right now. Pip, you get building your room in there. Oh, yeah. I'll build my room in here, and it's going to be way cooler than yours. All right. Well, don't forget, Pip. This room is going to be connected because we have this awesome archway in the middle. All right, Louie, but try not to cheat. I won't, buddy. Don't you worry. Let's get started building our rooms. So I'm definitely going to need a red bed. <laughs> what about you, buddy? Oh, well, my bed's going to be yellow. All right. That looks pretty awesome. But you know what? I'm going to make mine look better. Watch this. I'm going to put a red bed right in the middle like this. And I'm going to put some bedside tables next to it. And then finally, I'll get some of these fabric red slabs to make my bed even bigger. Now, my bed takes up half of the room. Oh, uh, Louie, just watch me make my bed. I think I'm going to start with some oak bedside tables. And then put a big bed out in front. And, uh... Use some woven fabric side blocks to make my bed bigger. Wait, Pip, that looks really good, but... Oh, wait a second. That's just because you copied me. Uh, I didn't copy you, Louie. I think you must have copied me. Uh, well, you know what? How about this then, buddy? I'm going to work on the next part of my room. This should be easy. All I need is some stairs like this. And I think I'll use these spruce stairs. I'll put them down just in this way and put a spruce trap door in the middle. Now, all I need to do is get my PC and put it down like this. Now, I have somewhere to play my video games. I'll just get a nice red seat so I can sit down and play Minecraft. What are you building, Pip? Oh, Louie, I'm just working on my PC setup right now. Wait a second, Pip. I just worked on my PC setup. Oh, yeah. Doesn't everyone work on their PC setup after they work on their bed? Well, I guess they do. But my room is looking better than yours, Pip. You're just copying me. I would never copy you, Louie. How can you say that? Oh, well, you know what? I'm going to keep building. And guys, this time, I'm going to do something really terrible so that Pip copies it block by block and makes his room trash. All right, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to get some dirt, Pip, and I'm going to put it all over my room. Woohoo! Yeah, this looks way better with dirt in it, right? Um, no, Louie. Dirt is horrible. I think I'm going to put a painting with a bunch of carpets Wait. all around the floor. Wait, what? You just made me put dirt everywhere. I thought you were going to copy me. I didn't make you put dirt, Louie. You made yourself put dirt. Oh, um, yeah, good point. 
you know what? I'm gonna have to get rid of all this dirt now. Oh, why didn't you copy me? Uh, because I would never copy you, Louie. Do you think I copied you over here? Um, yes, Pip. Your bed is the same. Your PC is the same. It's the same thing! No, Louie. My room is completely different. For one, I have a carpet, and my bed is yellow. Your bed is red. Oh, <laughs> all right then. Well, you know what, Pip? I think I have an idea. Inside of my room, I'm going to put a beautiful painting of myself so that I'm not copying you with your painting. I'll go ahead and put it in the middle like this. And let me just paint myself very quickly. I can paint very fast, buddy. So don't worry. I'll be done in a jiffy. So what I'm going to do is make the background black like this. Add my beautiful little face just like that. Add my hair. Awesome. Now I'll add the red for my hoodie. Boom, boom, boom. And I'll add the hoodie strings. Then all I have to do is add my eyes in. So I'll do one there and one there. And I'll add some nice big green eyes. Because that is what the color of my eyes are. Nice bright green. Then finally, I'll add a nice little smile. And I'm done. That is me. And I'll have that painting hung up high in my room. Because it's so awesome. Boom. There I am, buddy. Oh. Louie, what kind of self-portrait is this? You look like an alien. What, what do you mean I look like an alien? Well, because your eyes are so big and green. It's just like an alien. Pip, I don't look like an alien, buddy. But if you think I do, I think that's just on you. Well, now what I'm going to do is just grab some bookshelves and put them in my room. Because I want to be able to read whenever I can. Because you know what they say, knowledge is power. Oh, knowledge is boring. Oh, well, I guess that's just what you think, Pip, but wait a second. We've only added the fences on the outside of our base. What do we do? I realize we don't have any armor. Well, I mean, those sea monsters are probably going to be scared by these books anyways. Oh, well, I don't know, Pip. I think I need to start working on an armory room and you need to start working on the inside of your base. I forgot it even existed. Wait, I have have a base? Oh my gosh, I forgot! Quick, Pip, go build! All right, well, now Pip's over there working on the inside of his base. I need to add a very quick armory room, so let's do that. I'll just get some armor stands just like this, and I think I'm going to make a redstone device that puts all my armor on. All I have to do is just grab some dispensers like this, and if you guys want to do this too, you can follow along. All you have to do is grab some pressure plates and get a fence like this. Now you have to put some dispensers in the corners like this. What you have to do is put some dispensers down just like this. Then put the fence in the middle with a pressure plate on top. When you walk in the middle, they should all activate at the same time, which means you can get suited up very fast. All you have to do is put some armor on the inside. So I'm going to use this really awesome netherite armor. So I'll fill one of these dispensers with netherite helmets one with some netherite chest plates, one with some leggings, and one with some boots. Now, if I walk in, I'll be turned into a netherite warrior. I just have to put a sword and some golden apples in another one of these dispensers. So I'll put an infinity sword in this one, and I'll fill the next one up with a ton of really awesome golden apples so that I never go hungry. Just in case I need more in my inventory, I'll fill up some chests right next to this armor device that will allow me to take as many swords as I need and as many golden apples. Next, I need a bow so that I can shoot some mobs from above. So I think I'll get this lucky bow. These are really strong when used right. Then finally, I need a ton of arrows. So I'll have a chest full of lucky bows. And over here, I'll have a chest full of arrows. This should allow me to use this lucky bow for the entirety of the mob attack. But wait, 
Guys, I just had a really good idea. Since these mobs live in the water, maybe I can use this ice crystal. This will allow me to freeze them all. Look! I can use this like an elemental. And I can freeze all of this water above the surface, which will allow me to get over to Pip's base if I ever need to. And I'll be able to freeze all of the underwater mobs, which will put them into hibernation. So let's put a bunch of these ice crystals inside this chest too. All right, guys. And finally, all I need to do is give myself some of these totems of undying. This will make it so that if those sharks try to kill me and they get me to low health, I'll use it and I won't die. All right, there we go. I think I'm finally finished with all of the armor inside of my base. And this place is looking really cool. Now my home is complete. Let's just look upstairs and see if I need anything else to add. And wait a second. Louie, look outside! Wait, what's going on out here? And oh my gosh! Pip, there's a ton of sea serpents and sharks out there! Oh gosh, Louie, we need to fight them! All right, Pip, get your armor on right now! We need to be really suited up for war! Boom! I am now ready. I have set myself up with some totems of undying, some ice crystals, and a bunch of arrows for my lucky bow. And wait, what? They're attacking me! How? Louie, I'm getting my weapons right now! All right, Pip, hurry up. This is really bad. Somehow they're attacking me through the wall. Oh, come on, just shoot them. All right, Pip. Boom! Whoa, whoa, whoa. It seems like these things are massive. Don't worry, Pip. I have my infinity sword, which means I'll be a lot stronger. And whoa, whoa, they're jumping everywhere. Come on, Pip. Just attack them. There's one on your roof. Oh, I'm killing it right now. Let me die. Yeah, Pip. There's one that jumped onto my roof as well. That was really dangerous. Oh, I'm going to shoot them with my lucky bow. And die, sea serpent. Die. Oh, I'm going to eat a golden apple right now. Maybe Maybe I should use my TNT trap, Pip. That would probably be best right now. Let's go oh, yeah. and launch TNT everywhere. Take this, sharks. Boom! Oh, but Louie, don't you have that laser trap? Turn it on. Wait, good idea. Let me just come over here and boom! Look, all those sharks just tried to come in and died. Look. Not even those sharks over there can get in. Perfect! All I have to do now is just freeze them. And I can just do it from here and relax. Oh, yeah, Louie. Your base looks super secure. Yep, that's because it is, Pip. Do you want to come in or do you want me to take a look at yours? I mean, it looks like my base is just fine right now, Louie. All of the sharks are attacking your base. Oh, I know they are. You know what? I'm going to turn on my laser trap and use my TNT to kill them. Let me just go up the stairs to the top floor. I'll just walk through, go into here, and here we go. Take this, sharks. TNT! Blow them up! And boom! This is really oh, yeah. awesome, Pip. We are killing these sharks so easily. And it seems like those sea serpents left us alone. They're swimming away. Give those sharks and sea serpents a taste of their own medicine. Well, Pip... We are uh, kind of using TNT against them. That's not really their own medicine. Oh, well, it is now. Wait, what? All right, Pip. Well, I'm going to shoot these sharks with my lucky bow now. Hopefully, I get lucky and can kill them. Take this. Whoa. We'll try not to get unlucky, Louie. Oh, don't worry. I'm shooting this bow at those sea serpents. So, this will definitely make them unlucky, buddy. All right. But those serpents are here. Uh-oh, yeah. it's coming in! It's trying to eat me, Pip! Help! Phew! Oh, I shot him dead. Oh, good job, Pip. That was almost me dead. I almost died there. Oh, no need to worry, Louie. I'm your savior. Oh, yeah, you might be, but there's another sea serpent attacking, buddy. Oh, don't worry. Let me just put my fire charges on. Yes, look, it's working. It's defeating some of those sharks down there, and you know what? I'm going to help with my lucky bow. Take this, sharks. Oh, wait. I just spawned some mobs on it. This is really good, Pip. We are chilling right now. These sharks have no chance against us. Our bases are just so secure. Oh, yeah, Louie. But how are we supposed to kill all of these sharks? 
Oh, that? I don't know, Pip. There is a lot of them. You are kind of right. Oh, this is insane. Don't worry, Pip. I have a good idea. Let's just use my TNT trap and your fire charge trap until they're all dead. Oh, yeah, Louis. All right, I'm pulling the lever. Go, go, go. And while you do that, Pip, I'm gonna pull the TNT. Go! Die, sharks. Woohoo! It's working. I love seeing sharks explode and catch on fire. Yep, me too, buddy. But it seems like a lot of them are just in the middle of the ocean, away from both of our bases. I don't think my TNT trap will work here. Oh, let, me, let me just lure them to your base. Wait, what? All right, go ahead, buddy. Jump in. Come on, Pip. Use that bridge I just made. I shot my lucky bow, and it sent oh. a meteorite that made a bridge. Oh, yeah, Louis. Let me just jump down here. Go, Pip. Go, 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 run. Go, go. Oh, my gosh. You just jumped in the water. Oh, don't worry, Louis. I'm okay. Let me just jump up here, and those sharks can still hit me. Don't worry, Pip. They stopped now. They're not attacking you as much. You're just bleeding. Oh, my God. Gosh. Don't worry. Just jump over to my side now. You can make it, buddy. All right. Cannonball. Woohoo! All right. Now, Pip, you've lured all of the sharks over to my base. Let's use this TNT trap. Boom. Awesome. This is definitely going to kill all of them. We don't even need to move a muscle. Wait, but there are a few all the way over there. You know what, Pip? I'm risking it. You use the TNT <laughs> trap. Make sure not to blow up my base, and I'll kill these sharks. All right, Louie. Risk it for the biscuit. Let's go. I'm going in. Die, sharks, die. This is super powerful, Pip. These sharks are trying to eat me, but I'm using my golden apples and attacking them. Them, just like this. They stand no chance against my infinity sword, buddy. Yeah, just try to get them under the TNT. I'll try, but they're moving me around a lot. It's very, very dangerous. I'm on my way, Pip. I'm moving over here. Oh, this is so scary. I don't want to see you die, Louie. Don't worry, Pip. I'm going to survive. I just need to make sure I eat this golden apple. Ow! Oh my gosh, that TNT trap almost killed me. Oh, but you're fine now, Louie. Just kick those sharks over here again. All right, I will, buddy. There's a lot of them underneath your base that I have to kill first, though. Whoa, this is crazy. It's like the Jaws movie. There's so many sharks. Freeze! Louie, forget about freezing them. Just keep moving. I did, Pip. Boom! Good job, buddy. You killed a ton of them. Oh, yeah. They are going to die. But wait a second, Pip. Look, I think it's turning back to daytime. Oh. We're surviving. We just have to finish off the rest of these sharks. And we will have survived the shark apocalypse. Oh, this shouldn't be too bad. All of these sharks just need to go back to where they came. Woohoo! Come on, sharky walkies. Come over here and die. Oh, yeah. I never liked that baby shark song. Me neither, buddy. Me neither. Here we go. And die, shark, die, shark, and die. I'm killing them all. Oh, come on, Louie. Just keep going. We only have, like, five more. All right. Let me just kill one, and then I'll go for that one over there. Just kill the rest of them, Pip. Ah, yeah. All right, Louie. I killed them all. Wait, you killed all of them? Good job, Pip. Yeah. It seems like there's no more sharks left in the ocean right now. Oh, so does that mean we win? Well, Pip, I'll just say it now. I think that means we won! Oh, yay! We successfully survived a shark attack! Oh, yeah. Victory Royale! But if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen! Let's go! Let's go!